I'm going to show you how to read resistance first with an analog meter and I will show you how to read the resistance of a potentiometer and then also of a normal resistor. First turn on your meter to the resistance setting. Most meters have multiple ranges but this one only has one. This is resistance times 1K, which is 1,000 ohms. And on the top, I'll try to get a close-up later, the top is resistance in ohms on this meter. You can see ohms in red on the top bar. Let's imagine this potentiometer has an unknown resistance. A potentiometer has three connectors. The outside two are the two ends of the potentiometer, so all the way around, and that's the full resistance range. And the middle is what you would call the wiper, and that's the variable resistance. So, to measure this resistor, you would go to the two outside leads to get the full reading and a meter is showing 10. So 10 times 1,000, this is 10,000 ohms. To make reading resistors with a meter easier, I use alligator clips. Put the clip on the first lead you want to measure, put it on one of your leads. And I want to measure from the wiper, so I'll go to the middle of the resistor and put the other end of my other lead. Now I've zoomed in so you can see the meter better. Right now I have the full reading. The resistor is turned all the way to the farthest right which gives maximum resistance on the middle wiper. So now I can adjust the variable resistor and you can see the needle moving. Now I have 6,000 ohms. There's 4,000, there's 2,000, there's a little bit of a jump. Variable resistors are not precise, as you can see, and there's about 1,000 ohms. And I can turn it all the way down to near zero. So a variable resistor will adjust through its full range of resistance as you turn the dial. So that's how to read a potentiometer with an analog meter. Now I have here a standard resistor and now we're going to read the resistance. Let's say I don't know or I cannot see the color bars on this resistor. So I can use my ohmmeter to measure the resistance of this unknown resistor. So to make this easy and make sure I get stable connections I'm going to hook alligator leads to my meter. Hooking up both leads with alligator clips to my resistor. Now you can see my meter is showing between two and two and a half, about 2,200, 2,300 ohms. By reading the color bars, which is red, 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 that would equal 2.2K ohms. So it's just about the right resistance. There is a tolerance range on a resistor, the gold bar shows the percentage of tolerance how far off your resistor can actually be from what it's rated at. So this is roughly just under 2500 so I'd say about 2300 ohms 